All right, you're listening to The Bright Side. I'm not sure what you guys heard. We had a little technical technical glitch over at the network, but we are back on here. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, and we will dispense with our little introduction here. If you're, uh, if you're listening to the program and you want to reach us, our number is 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. I am Pharmacist Ben, and you are listening to The Bright Side. We're on the air Monday through Friday. 8 to 9 Pacific Time and 10 to 11 Central Time and 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com. We've got archives up at brightsideben.com as well as benfuchsarchives.com. And you can purchase Longevity products off of criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. Those are my blogs. We also have videos up at criticalhealthnews.com. And if you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay. So we have been talking about the ketogenic diet and fatty hormones, all as it regards the skin. Took a little digression yesterday, and I want to finish up a little bit with Alzheimer's disease. We said yesterday Alzheimer's disease, which is, well, Alzheimer's disease is basically not a disease, except for its name. What's called Alzheimer's disease is technically an, a, a, the manifestation of accelerated aging. It used, used to be called pre-senile dementia. It's basically an accelerated aging condition. And if you're subsisting on the standard American diet or the standard Western world diet, and you're living in the standard uh, American lifestyle or the standard Western world lifestyle, the odds are good that you're going to be experiencing some sort of cognitive decline as you get into your 80s and 90s. We call that senile dementia. Senile pertaining to old age, dementia meaning cognitive difficulties, problems thinking. The name Alzheimer's disease is given to what is called pre-senile dementia, that's a cognitive decline that occurs in the 60s or 70s. A little bit accelerates, sometimes earlier, sometimes in the 50s, rarely. Usually in the 60s or 70s. They call that Alzheimer's disease, and doctors will give you some mealy mouth medical gobbledygook about amyloid plaques and tangles and tau protein. But what they don't tell you is they can't see any of these things until you're dead, until they do an autopsy. And then they say, oh, there's those amyloid plaques. They don't test for something called Alzheimer's disease. They can't look in your blood and see Alzheimer's disease particles. They can't do a urine test for Alzheimer's disease or a saliva test for Alzheimer's disease. It's just a name that they give you when you're not thinking clearly, when you've got cognitive decline at an accelerated pace. And they just give it a name so that you can get plugged into the computer, so they can medicalize it, and you get billed for it, and you can get drugged for it. To call Alzheimer's disease a disease is to call accelerated aging a disease. And it, here's the problem with it, and this is why I get so ticked off. It misleads us into thinking we need to be medicalized. It's not fair. The reason there's no cure for Alzheimer's disease, and there never will be a cure for Alzheimer's disease, is because you can't cure aging. You can't cure accelerated aging. But that doesn't matter because you can slow it down. You can even reverse it by changing the way you live. When we start to change how we eat and change our nutrition and change our exercise habits and reduce our sugar, we'll slow down the aging process. I'm guaranteeing you when you start to change the way you live, if you're dealing with dementia or you know somebody, if you change the way you nutriate, you change the way you eat, you change the way you live, your dementia symptoms will start to reduce, start to subside, reverse even. The latest Alzheimer's disease silliness from the pharmacomedical model is a vaccination. This is unbelievable. They want to vaccine you. They want to give you a vaccine for Alzheimer's disease. Yes, this is the latest thing. How? You, they're going to vac they're going to give you uh, uh, they're going to stimulate your immune system with a vaccine so the immune system will kill the plaques will destroy the plaques these these tangles that show up in the brain but the plaques and the tangles aren't the cause of the disease they're the symptom they're the sign of accelerated aging I don't even want to call it a disease they're a sign of aging plaques are a generic way the body responds to damage to cell damage plaques and tangles and and uh, so now they have a new one called tau protein. These are all the signs of cell damage. And cell damage occurs with aging and starvation, lack of nutrition and suffocation and toxification from food additives and from sugar. And this should be such great news because it means that we're in control of the process. And who's in control of how we eat? Who's in control of how we nutrient? Who's in control of how we respirate? Who's in control of how we move our bodies? Not the doctor. 
And by the way, the plaques, these so-called amyloid plaques that appear in the brain when, uh, in those, uh, of Alzheimer's patients, they show up everywhere. They're not just in the brain. They show up in the intestine. They show up in the joints. You have Alzheimer's disease of your intestine. Yes, you have Alzheimer's disease of your joints. You have Alzheimer's disease of your tendons and the blood and the kidneys and the liver. These are all areas where amyloid plaques show up because amyloid plaques are a sign of broken down cells. They're a generic sign of broken down cells and uh, inflammation and starvation and suffocation and toxification. Doctors call this amyloidosis. And they go, oh, this is a mystery. We have no idea what causes this amyloidosis. But if they listen to the bright side, if your doctor uh, listened to the bright side, he would know that it is simply a generic marker of messed up cells. And it doesn't matter where it shows up. This is probably, I don't want to say the most important, most fundamental idea of what I call the bright side philosophy, but it is certainly one of them. It doesn't matter where your degenerative disease shows up. It matters that it's showing up. The area of the body is irrelevant. That it's occurring in a special place only in, is only in the interest of a specialist because that's how he gets paid. That's how he sends his kids to college. But he doesn't help us because nobody has a special disease, except in terms of its languaging, except in terms of its nomenclature, its taxonomy, as they say, its classification. This is so mean-spirited, folks. This is so anti-human being, because we should, when we get this, the simplicity of the disease process, we will no longer need the medical model. And this is what doctors should be doing, teaching us this, showing us this, but they don't know it themselves. This whole idea of the generic nature of disease simplifies everything. Disease is generic. Alzheimer's disease is simply lupus of the brain, arthritis of the brain, ulcerative colitis of the brain. It's the same health issue, just in a different part of the body. And again, this is such good news. It puts the power back where it belongs with us. These are all degenerative processes that accrue as the impact, the inevitable impact, of our lifestyle choices, our nutritional deficiencies, our toxicities, and our poor oxygenation take their tolls. They're part of the aging process in the United States of America and around the world. They're part of the accelerated aging process in the 21st century. And you can't be vaccinated against aging. And you can't be medicalized against aging. You slow down aging. You reverse aging with nutrition, with the mighty 90 essential nutrients, with the healthy start pack with lifestyle strategies. You don't medicate against aging. You nutriate against aging. The only people who think it's an intelligent idea to take medicine for aging are the people selling us the medicine. Surprise, surprise. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your calls. We want to hear from you. All right. We'll take a break and come back with more good health information right after this. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thank you for joining us. Our number today, 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or health conditions or health challenges that you or a loved one may be dealing with, or if you... uh, want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head over to my website, brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. You can order products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team right off of the website. Love to have you on my team for a one-time $25 fee. You can get your products at the wholesale price as a preferred customer. You can also start a longevity business, helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. I've been involved with longevity now for 18 plus years, and I've watched the company grow. And the reason it's been growing, and this is not uh, anybody who's been doing network marketing or who's been in the network marketing business for any length of time knows that network marketing companies come and go. They don't typically last a long time, and they certainly don't have a growth curve like Longevity has, and the reason it does have this kind of growth curve is because the ideas work. 
the concepts work and we are all dedicated. Everybody who does this business is dedicated to helping and making a difference. If this sounds good to you, if helping and making a difference in people's lives at the, in the most fundamental place in people's lives, which is their health, if that sounds like something you want to do and make money while you're doing it at the same time, please check out the Longevity products and the Longevity business. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470, or you can just take a look at our websites, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and brightsideben.com, and I would love to have you on my team. I can help you build your business, and we do three-way phone calls, and uh, I fly out to various parts of the country to help you grow your business as well. Okay. Let's see here. I've been, I know I've been digressing a little bit with Alzheimer's disease. I've got a personal connection to Alzheimer's disease. It is, it runs in my, I don't want to say it runs in my family, but my granddad had it, my grandfather had it, my, my dad has, I don't think it's called Alzheimer's disease, but he has dementia. My mom is terrified of having it. I don't think she's going to get it. I know I'm not going to get it because, folks, you don't have to have Alzheimer's disease. It's a lifestyle issue. From the... Uh, Journal Advanced Drug Delivery Reviews. Amyloidosis and Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is the most frequent type of amyloidosis in humans. Yes, it's amyloidosis. And you can have it anywhere in the body. It's a, just a generic way the body breaks down. I talked to, I got a letter from a lady a couple of weeks ago. She had it in the eye. Amyloidosis in the eye. Can you imagine this? This is when you have these, these plaques, that, these fibers that form in the eye. This is awful and unnecessary, and doctors are mystified. They don't know what causes it. But if you listen to this program, you know what causes it because there's not a lot of things that go wrong in the body. It's just kind of a generic thing. The cells break down, inflammation, accru inflammation uh, accrues, builds up, and part of the inflammatory process is the secretion of these proteins. It's, it's actually a protective mechanism. The secretion of amyloid plaques is a way the body protects itself. It shields itself. Inflammation is always a protective response. The body is not stupid. We are stupid. Humans are stupid. Doctors are stupid. But the body is incredibly intelligent. It's a direct manifestation of the divine force. And it knows what it's doing. The inflammatory process builds up when the body's trying to protect itself from starvation, suffocation, and toxification. That leads to inflammation, which leads to more starvation and suffocation and toxification. And it's true about every single disease. And in this way, the disease process is generic, and you're not vaccinated against it. You can't be vaccinated against the generic breakdown of the body. You can't be vaccinated against the aging process. You can't be medicated against the aging process. That's why you can't be medicated for Alzheimer's disease. That's why you can't be medicated for any degenerative disease. That's why doctors hate the word cure. The FDA hates the word cure. If you say the word cure, you could go to jail because they can't cure, because they think there's something wrong. There's nothing wrong. It's the body protecting itself. It's just the manifestation of a body in distress. It's like the body, the body is like the, a baby crying. That's all it is. That's what disease is. Dis-ease, out of ease. It's the baby crying for food, for the mighty 90 essential nutrients, for no more abuse in the form of sugar and food additives and calories. And for a little bit of oxygen, not even a lot, just a little bit of oxygen. The only people who benefit from this ridiculous model of healing that we have, this ridiculous, idiotic model that we call the pharmacomedical model, this idiotic model of healing or, or lack of healing, management is really what it is, are the representatives of it, not us. If you or a loved one are being medicalized for anything, for Alzheimer's disease or anything else, you're not going to get better, period. You are not, and I don't need to tell you this, you know it. But how many people have gotten better when they got on the longevity products? If, you're, if you think I'm kidding you, pop into the convention this uh, next month in Anaheim and talk to a few people. You're going to see dozens, if not hundreds of people who have benefited dramatically in a way that drugs can't even touch from the longevity products and the longevity strategies. And it's not just longevity. We just make it easy. We just simplify the process. But you don't need longevity. You can do it yourself. But if you don't want to go brain damage it, we've made it simple. And that's not just true about the products. It's true about the business as well. We made the business simple too. This is so tragic, folks. If you are being medicalized for some kind of health issue, Alzheimer's or anything else, you are being misdirected. Misdirected from the ordinary lifestyle changes that you or your loved one can 
make to truly, really make a difference in your life. And that includes things like the ketogenic diet, which we'll be talking about. It includes the B vitamins, the brain vitamins, B for brain, bone soup, stabilizing your blood sugar, reducing your cortisol. If you start practicing these techniques, I'm guaranteeing you 100% certainty that you or your loved one will start to notice results quickly. Results that no medical model strategy, no drug strategy can begin to approach. Just getting on the BTT can make a significant difference. What all this tells you is to deal with Alzheimer's or to deal with any brain health issues, is to just simply apply the lifestyle and nutritional strategies that we talk about here on the Bright Side every day. And that includes, by the way, which we're going to start talking about here today, finish up, well, I'll start today and then finish up on our next program, fiber. Fiber, fiber, fiber. According to a February 2014 article in the journal Food and Nutrition Sciences, phytonutrients as well as the fatty acids that are produced in the intestine from grain and veggie fibers can be helpful for all neurological conditions, including Alzheimer's disease. And of course, we know that fiber helps slow down the release of sugar, and Alzheimer's is type 3 diabetes. It's a type of diabetes. It's an inflammatory, it's a sign of the inflammation that's associated with elevated blood sugar, and fiber will stabilize your blood glucose. Fiber is incredibly helpful, incredibly important, and here's the best part. It's cheap. It is unbelievably cheap. A, a pound of ground, I love flax seeds. That's my favorite way to get fiber. A pound of organic Golden flax seeds, you always want the golden flax seeds, got more nutrition in the golden ones over the brown ones. A pound of, uh, of flax seeds at Whole Foods will cost you less than two bucks. And that's like a month's supply for two dollars. You grind up the flax seeds in a coffee grinder, I know I've said it before, grind them up in a, in a coffee grinder, throw in some chia seeds, throw in some hemp seeds, throw in a little uh, raw walnuts or some raw almonds, grind it up, put it in water or, or some almond milk, make yourself a little thick kind of smoothie or pudding, throw in some, uh, uh, add some essential fatty acid capsules, make sure you take your ultimate EFAs with your fiber, they work together. It's delicious, it's tasty, you get all kinds of nutritional value, and it's incredibly cheap. Okay, we'll take a break, come back with your phone calls. I'm Pharmacist Ben, you're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. All right, we are back on The Bright Side. Our number today, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. Got a couple lines open for you. If you're on hold, hang on. We will get to you in just a moment. I want to just finish up a couple of things here about uh, fiber. We're going to talk on our next program about phytic acid. A lot of you have been asking about phytates and phytic acid. It's been in the news. It turns out that phytates and phytic acid, which are found in seeds and grains and other fiber-rich foods, actually are not all that bad. In fact, there's some tremendous health benefits, and we'll talk about that on our next Bright Side episode. Uh, you know what? I'm going to talk. Well, I want to talk about flax seeds a little bit, too. We'll do that on our next Bright Side episode, I think, because we've got a bunch of calls I want to get to. 844 236 6010 is our number. Let us go to, uh, I'm not sure where Ratna is calling from. Ratna, how you doing? I can't say your last name here, Ratna, but. <laughs> Chint, Chint Mananani. Did I say that? Uh, yes, yes. Did mm -hmm. I do that right? That's, Chint Mananani. Chint Mananani. Yes. I love it. Mama Nani. I'm, I'm just going to call you Mama. What's up, Mama? <laughs> I'm Mama. How you doing? Thank What's you. going on? I don't know. Uh, I don't know how to. I haven't prepared to speak up, but it happens to be um, I have a chance to, a small time frame to share my um, testimony to yes. all the audience. So I okay. haven't prepared to speak up, but uh, I will try my best. Okay, you're doing good. Uh -huh. So um, I called you 2014 November 5th um, asking for help on this and you have you gave me only last one minute chance to to speak up whenever I'm trying to explain uh, I don't want to hear you it is going to be 2 hours it takes time for you to explain because that many number of issues I have Okay now so I'm not on any medication zero even wait, I, wait, wait. You, you're off all your medication? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I sent you an email November 5th, again, 2015, saying that I'm going to call you in, but couldn't manage to call in because I am busy. Actually, I want to call in exactly after one year. Are you in India? Are you calling us from India? 
No, I am I am from Austin, Texas. I uh, I talk to you personally also when you are traveling to Michigan along with the Ted Anderson because um yeah, yeah I, I I went to India. That is the reason I couldn't manage to call you for the past couple of months. Okay. But, but you... um, I sent you email. I'm um by the time I'm off of uh, my thyroid Today nice. also I got uh, another report. No issues. I am on track. No need to do anything. Nice, 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 mm-hmm. nice. So Not what was thyroid? I want to. You didn't allow me last time. That is the reason I explained to the person who ever picked up. I want to speak up more. I don't want to block up other people. But uh, I have a. So many problems, not one. I have a lupus, osteoporosis, rheumatoid arthritis. Oh, my goodness. And they put me on 100 medications in 2009. And I said, no, I tried three months. I am, like, scared of that. I am not feeling good by taking that. And look up for that. I went a naturopathic Indian traditional way, like doing stouts and um, taking juices, that kind of things. But I'm not feeling that good. Still, I am researching to find out. One day I found Dr. Wallach and I left a message. I'm trying to reach out to, to provide this product and nobody is giving me at the end of the day. Ted Anderson called me back after six months, six, uh, 10 days or something. By the time I already registered with you guys. And uh, first time I ordered the project, as you mentioned, products, uh, you mentioned that uh, mm, Tangy Tandering, try one. I tried first to see, first to day, whole day is like on like uh, something. I never try anything like uh, coffee, tea, never drink anything of that nature. So energetic. One day, first day I tried. Energetic. First day, right? Amazing energy. Very first first dose itself. Whole I told day you. I I to- that's amazing. And, so, has, and now yeah. you're good. And now you're healthy? No. Uh, from that day, continuously I'm on um, because I went to India taking mine two months uh, um, traveling. And then uh, as soon as I'm trying to explain to my family, they saw me totally different person. I'm thin while I'm doing on the vegetarian raw diet. By the time I started with this raw um, but I, I listened to you. I stopped eating meat uh, for the past uh, 19 years. And once uh, you explained about the bone soup, I started getting into slowly into the vegetarian diet. I even stopped eating eggs. I started taking two eggs and uh, morning time, my juicing, everything is back. Now incorporated with the bone soup and everything. They saw me totally different person because you always explain. It looks like why everybody calls with the expecting different answer. You yeah, always yeah. come back the triangle and all that kind of things. It's uh, not Thank making you. sense, but once as a improved person, now I know that why you go back. Yeah. If your gut is not good, then yes. whatever you try, it is not going to be good. Yes. I'm back with you totally, totally. Praise I God. Can Thank you so much. Whoever needs it, I am not on medication. I am. I look so healthy, and back in India, they surprised to see me that, and everybody take my products, and I don't have anything for the past two months. I came back here and ordered and shipped out to India because uh, you you don't have a uh, shipments to India. I'm going to do lot, lot, and then I don't know how to support them. And that Thank is you. another piece I want to talk. I call right, the that- support team. Ratna, thank you. So, I'm, I got a, got a bunch of calls I want to get to, but thank you so so much. If you send me an email, uh, I put, you on email. So send me another email and put your phone number there. I want to send you some Beyond Tangy Tangerine on me just for sharing that story. That's a wonderful, wonderful story. Thank I appreciate you. it. God and bless you, everybody. I I want to let the other people also know that it is uh, it is uh, they have to take care of themselves. That's the only thing. I and I can't stop myself. I want to share so much. The, that's exactly how I feel. It. Now you know how I feel. You want to tell everybody. You want to scream it from the top of the roof. Right? I, I want to scream it. So, yeah. uh, I'm scared earlier to talk anything, but I'm feeling like one person, not other people are listening, but uh, so happy and so graceful. And thank you. I want to take you as a God brother. So thank you. Thank you. Praise God. That's, we should all be doing that. Pay it forward. Now you, you tell everybody you know. All right, Ron, I got to go, but send me an email, okay? And then uh, we'll be in touch. Thank you so much for sharing that. Okay, take care. Folks, that's what I'm talking about. You know how many times I hear that? 
I can't not do this program. I cannot not tell you this. I hear this I, for decades. I've hear I've been hearing stories like this. It is so simple, and it is not an issue for your doctor or the medical model, but this is something we can all do. This is a gal from, uh, I don't remember her specific story, but she's off all her medications. She was a vegetarian. We got her on some bone soup and some eggs, and it's just simple little things, you guys. Nobody has to suffer. We suffer needlessly. We suffer tragically, needlessly. My people perish for lack of knowledge. It's just a lack of understanding of the simplicity. And, and the worst part of it is there are sneaky, mendacious, greedy people who are misdirecting us away from the simplicity of healing the body. And it's just not fair. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Miles in Arizona. Good, mo uh, good morning, Miles. What's up, buddy? Hey, Ben. How you doing? Doing good. How's it going? Um, listen, listen to your show a lot. I uh, like everything you say. Um, Thank I've got you. a friend with a really rare skin disease called superativa hydrogenitis. Oh, yes. Superativa hydrogenitis. Superativa hydrogenitis. Or hydrogenitis. Yeah. yeah, we'll talk about that. So that is, that's an awful skin condition. Um, hang on, Miles, because we've got to take a break. But that's a very good question, and I want to cover that when we come back. So don't go away, okay, buddy? I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. All right, we're back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Miles in Arizona. You there, Miles? Miles, Miles? Do we have Miles? Yes, I'm there. Hey, Miles. So, yeah, that's a miserable condition. Hydra, it's, uh, it's a tongue twister name, hydradenitis yeah. superativa, but it basically just means hydradenitis refers to the fact that uh, you've got water in the sweat gland, an inflamed sweat gland due to water, hydra meaning water, adenitis means the sweat gland is inflamed. Hydrogenitis, sweat glands inflamed because of fluid. It's not really water. They, they thought it was water, but it's really fluid. And superativa means pus. So you got a pussy sweat gland is basically what it is. And it happens all over the body, and it is awful. I, have you seen it? Or is, it, is somebody oh, you know? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it yeah. is a miserable, painful, awful condition. It's like a, it's like acne on steroids. It's like yeah, a, yeah. A, a, a acne. I, uh, it's awful. But here's the thing. Like all diseases, it's unnecessary. It's tragically unnecessary. It's an inflammatory condition. So here's what you need to do. You need to quiet the body down. The body is in major distress. That Nobody just has this. You don't wake up in the morning with hydrogenitis superativa. It takes a while to build up, and it's a sign of major toxicity. Okay? So how old is your friend? Uh, she's 26, and I believe she was diagnosed, like, early on, maybe 10 or 12 years old or something. Okay, then she had, must have had a – that's really good news, actually, because she must have had a serious problem starting at a young age. When, uh, at that young age, it has to be food-related. Food so immediately get her on a Swero V cleanse. You know, are you doing Longevity, or do you know what the Longevity product? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not familiar with that cleanse, but I'm familiar okay. with Longevity and the product. So. Okay, good. There's a product called Swero V. It was developed by uh, Jordan Rubin, who's an absolute genius when it comes to the digestive system. Uh, it's made with probiotics, fermented, uh, fermented whey, and it has some minerals, and it's a great way to fast. So she's going to need to do a fast. Uh, if she can do a fast even without the Swero V, that would be great. But if she wants to use the Swero V, that will be helpful, too. That will clean her system out for two or three days. If she can do three days, that's great, and she's going to notice her symptoms subside. Then she's going to want to start to eat as normal, and she's going to notice that with certain foods, her symptoms get worse. Okay? Especially digestive yep. symptoms, but also skin symptoms. And then she's going to be able to eliminate those foods. That's called the elimination diet. I'm sure you've heard me talk about that. Oh, yeah. It's important to write things down. That's step number one. Step number two is start to support the digestive system. The fact that she had this problem at a young age tells me that it had to be food because she's not going to be injecting anything into her blood, you know, IV. So the only way things get into the blood is through food. So more than likely, uh, it's going to be a food-related. And once she does the elimination diet, she's going to notice improvement. But she's also got to use the bioluminightly essence as well as fermented foods. She's got to start to restore the integrity of the digestive lining and of the intestine itself. More fiber, flaxseed fiber, vegetable fiber. She should be living on vegetable juices, fresh vegetable juices. Uh, she has to make sure that she can handle them. Some, juice, some vegetables may cause a problem. But whatever veggies she can do, vegetable juices, low sugar, maybe zero sugar. Uh, a ketogenic diet would be great for her. Make sure she's using her Mighty 90 essential nutrients, but she might uh, wants to take some extra NAC, 
that's called N-acetylcysteine. I don't know if you've heard of that. Yep. Or NAC, yep. good. About uh, 500 to 1,000 milligrams a day. Get her on the ultimate selenium, 400 micrograms a day. Make absolutely positively sure she's on 50 milligrams a day of zinc picolinate and 20,000 international units a day of uh, vitamin A. And then if she wants to do a couple extra things, she probably should uh, 400 international units a day of vitamin E. Don't worry about the fancy schmancy ones for now. Just get her on some vitamin E. And then uh, uh, the Healthy Start Pack, of course, sipping on the BTT and the omega-3 fatty acids. And then uh, one last, and the sweeties also. And then one last thing, like extra credit kind of, is, the al is something called alpha lipoic acid, which you may have heard of, 400 milligrams a day. She will notice results quickly and dramatically. There's many more things she needs to do. Many, many, many. But you don't want to overwhelm her. That's a ton of stuff. But she's going to notice results within three or four days once she starts the fast and starts the elimination diet and gets on the supplements. And I'd love it if you could call us back or at least send me an email and keep me abreast of her progress. Because I guarantee you she's going to notice results if she does this thing correctly. And I'd love to use her as a case study. Yeah, that's great. Thank you so much. Um, I know also you're not a big fan of uh, external stuff on the skin. And she's tried like medicated soaps and stuff like that. It's not going to help. Problem. Yeah, it's not an internal issue. Related. Yeah, it's, like, yeah. it's diet-related. If she wants to do something just to calm the skin down, get her some of my Omega-6 healing cream. Get her a nice gift. And that will calm things down a little bit. But, no, it's an internal problem, absolutely. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, buddy. Right, Thanks, thank Miles. So much, Take care. Man. Thank okay. you, buddy. Okay. All right, uh, let's go to Tennessee and say hi to Sarah. Good morning. What's going on, Sarah? Yes, hi, Dr. Ben. Uh, my 65-year-old mother uh, was diagnosed, well, not diagnosed, but she had a brain injury eight years ago. and then Traumatic? Traumatic, yes. Okay. Fell on her head uh, directly. Okay. Ooh. And then six years ago, so two years after the brain injury, she started with tremor, shuffling. Mm. The medical doctors diagnosed her with Parkinson's, but say, we're not really sure, okay. but we'll give you Parkinson's drugs. Um, oh, we did a hair analysis on her and found that she was mercury toxic. Well, that could very well be. You know, we live in a toxic world, and it's not unusual, but it's, that's not the problem. When she fell, she probably got some inflammation, and the inflammation never subsided because she probably didn't know anything about it. It was, it was micro-inflammation. It, it wasn't anything dramatic. And the inflammatory process created a starvation and a suffocation and a toxification in the cells that ultimately led to them dying, and that'll cause a tremor. So right away, we got to get her on some nutrition. Is she doing anything, any nutrition at all, Healthy Start Pack, B vitamins? Um, she's, I'm giving her the tangy tangerine twice a day. How, are you sipping on it, or are you giving her big doses? Um, about eight ounces. Eight no, ounces. give her, have her sip on it all day, throughout okay. the day, okay? Mm -hmm. um, throughout the day. She should notice results just from that. Maybe go get some extra B vitamins, a B100 capsule uh, from the health food store and have her do a couple of those with her, with her, uh, uh, her, with her Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Pound the B vitamins is what I'm saying here. Okay. Okay? Get a Vitamix and start doing veggie juices. Make sure she's getting her electrolytes, and she should be living on bone soup. You know what I mean when I say that? Yeah. Bone soup? Okay, okay, living on bone soup. Have her, it's delicious, and it's awesome right. uh, for her brain. Uh, ultimate EFAs, have her doing nine a day if she's not already. Is she doing any essential fatty acids? Uh, just a lipid powder at this point. No, get her the ultimate EFAs and start her on. In fact, I would start her on 15 a day, and okay. then maybe back down to nine a day. But if you can okay. keep her on 15 a day, that would be great. She needs a lot of EFAs okay. and the B vitamins. Um, also, get a little bit of extra vitamin C. That would wouldn't hurt you, maybe 1,000 milligrams a day of vitamin C. Keep very close track of her foods and notice that when she eats certain foods, her tremors get worse and use that as an indicator to eliminate certain foods. So pay attention to what she's eating and pay attention to flare-ups so, and associate flare-ups with specific foods and then eliminate those foods. Sugar is a, her mortal enemy. It's, it's the brain's mortal enemy after a small amount. The brain needs a small amount of sugar, but after ex, excess sugar is the brain's mortal enemy. Okay. Keto, you, have you heard us talking about the ketogenic diet? Yes. Okay, go ketogenic. Get her coconut oil. In fact, even just getting her something called MCT oil from the health food store. Give her a teaspoon of uh, coconut oil or two teaspoons of coconut oil. Cook with coconut oil and then get her uh, MCT oil uh, in a, a liquid MCTs and have her do a couple of teaspoonfuls of that. That will make a huge difference as well. Keep her calories down as best as you can. You don't want her going into starvation, but you want to keep her calories down, excessive calories that she doesn't need, and then get her on a good protein supplement 
supplement that doesn't mess up her digestive system. You can start off with the Slender FX, or you can get Natural Factors Way. You should notice difference, a significant difference with these strategies very quickly. With, I'm talking within days. If you don't notice difference, a difference within days, call us back because there's you're, you're missing some stuff. She's also going to need vitamin A later on. She's going to need zinc later on. She's going to probably need some more magnesium later on, but this is a great place for you to start. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you, Sarah. Have a beautiful bless day. You. All right. Let's uh, got time for one more call. Diane in Miami. Welcome to the Bright Side. Oh, Diane. Hi, um, Ken. Yes. Uh, I, um, I don't know if you can answer this, but I have an eight-year-old um, boxer who is diagnosed with chronic renal uh, disease. Eight-year-old it what? For did... A boxer. A dog. A dog. A foxhound, did you say? A fox. P-O boxer. Oh, a dachshund. Dachshund. Okay. No, no, no. Fox. P-O-X. Boxer. Okay. So it's a dog, though, right? Right. He, okay. He's 15 pounds, okay? But she was diagnosed with chronic renal disease. She had just this week had a blood transfusion. Oh, my goodness. And is on apogen. How old what is she? What can I give her? How old is eight. she? She's eight. 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 Okay, I don't know how long those dogs live and where eight years old is in the lifespan, but she, it doesn't sound like she's an old dog. Uh, it's a, it, the kidneys filter the blood, so there's something getting into the blood. And if it's a dog, there's only one, pretty much only one way something's getting into the blood, and that would be through food. So you've got to work on her food. Sugar can also be a problem. Is she overweight at all? No. Uh, was she overweight? No. Okay, so I, my first thought, and I don't know a lot about dogs, but my first thought would be sugar and the diet. So change the way she eats. Get her into a more natural diet. If she's not eating, if she's eating kibble or, or dog food, get her into, no, I don't know what that is, but meat, get her meat, carnivores. Dog, dogs need meat, not grains or anything like that. And I got to go. It, Diane, if you want to yeah, call me, okay. why don't you just shoot me an email, ben at ksco.com, and I'll be able to answer your question a little more comprehensively. Okay. Thank you all so right. much, Ben. Thank you. God bless you. All right. That's all the time we have for today, folks. Uh, check out my website, truthtreatments.com, as well as pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. We'll be back at you on Monday with more great health information on the bright side. Have yourselves a spectacular, awesome, beautiful day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Bye for now. Thank you.